Hi everyone, Emma here. I have some beautiful bracelets to show you. So I couldn't sleep last night, so I decided to make some wire wrap bracelets. And I've been wanting to make some forever, and I have a huge uh, board on Pinterest with a whole bunch of designs um, pinned to it. So let's take a look at what I managed to do. And I put it on my mandrel because let me... It's been so long since I ordered my um, wire that I couldn't remember what size I ordered. And I'm guessing my wrist, like this fits me fine. My wrist is super small. Let me see. I'll check the inches first. So it's two, two and a quarter inch, This, which is six centimeters across so I yeah I'd have to do the calculation on the on the wrist size now I mean they they stretch open so um, it's not that big a deal but I definitely think you should get the right size for your wrist so there's that. That way, when you do your designs, if you have a design that is dependent on the row above and beneath and all the other consecutive rows, so if you're doing a pattern, you don't want to stretch it out and then lose the pattern. So definitely good idea. <laughs> I'm new to this, like a lot of the beading stuff. So let's take a look. We have this one. So I did this one with the beautiful pearls that I got from Butterfly Beads. And oh my gosh, this one's really delicious. Actually, you know what? What we should do, I, I am going to make um, a memory wire bracelet. But I think what we should do is um, do the dangles for here. Now I know um, because my hand is a bit... Well, I'm still healing, so it might be hard, but I do have some inexpensive ones here that might be easier to turn. Let me pull some of these out and see. Okay. So these, actually, this is pretty good. When I got them, they were like twisted in figure eights and the whole bit. It was just ridiculous. So I'm going to have to find some straight ones here. And throw those. Um, I think at one point I did go through these and straighten them, but it definitely it's not something I can do right now. So let's grab a bunch. I could probably clip that one and straighten them. Okay, let's see what we have here. So, um, these beautiful beads are Czech glass beads, seed beads from the Northern um, Bead Company in Canada. It's in Ontario somewhere. And this is how, they're six O's, so this is metallic light pink, and it was $3.45. I look at it now, and I think, like at the time, I was all excited. I'm like, ooh, this is a deal. I look at it now, and I'm like, I think I can get a better deal than that. Anyway, can you tell I like these guys? There's barely any left. So let's see what we could put on that. You know what? I have these guys that I made earrings with. I could actually just put that on there. Ooh, that's a good idea. And here's... Oh, one's not even on the attached. We could... The color's a bit different. Let's see if there's another... There is another pink one, and it's not attached. It's unattached. It needs a date. <laughs> Come have a date, and then I've got a bunch of, ooh, actually, oh, that would look nice. Okay, we got two there. That's, that made things so much easier. This is like, I was doing some designs. Here's a lovely one, green one, um, for earrings 
for Christmas and uh, this one was getting ready to be made and I just lost it. Let's see if I can find the uh, crystal rondelle. There was a beautiful purple one that went with it. Oh, that's silver. That's why I want that gold one. No, never mind. Let's let's stick to what we have here. Okay. I don't know. Actually, this one matches better. Ooh, look at that. I think we have a good one there. Okay, so let's just put those aside and see if I can open that. That's going to be the trick. And I may have to adjust these at another, another time. Or I could always put a jump ring. Let me see how hard it is to open these. It's actually not too bad, so it's Slide that on there and see if I can close it back up. Oh, that was easy. Sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's lovely. Even though it's not quite the same color for now, it looks good. It will do. Let me use my good hand. I mean, both my hands are good, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, Vern? Actually, this looks open. Let's see if we can slide that on there. Yep. And let's see if I can get that closed. So I hope everybody's having a nice Easter. It's like pouring rain. It was slushy snow this morning. And it's funny because last night I thought, oh, you know, spring's here. <laughs> Winter's over. I now bequeath as that winter is over. So let all your friends know. Emma says winter's over. It's official. There will be no snow upon this land. Furthermore, I say to thee, <laughs> I talk to my wife that way <laughs> sometimes. I pretend that I'm like the boss of the relationship. <laughs> I say, I have spoken. <laughs> Let it be so. <laughs> She's like, do you want a black eye? Because <laughs> you can speak all you want. <laughs> With a black eye. She's from a coal mining town. So that's why she talks that way. And I just laugh. And it's so funny. People are afraid of her. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to crack up. She is like the sweetest person you've ever met. She would do anything. I'll give you an example. A nephew of mine I hadn't seen since he was like seven years old called me and was upset and was in serious distress and he was in a, a, on the other side of the country and he needed help so we got him on speakerphone and I explained to her that I really needed to help him so we sent him money and or got him to book his train to come and live with us and we were going to help him go back to school to college he was young I think he was 17 and she was like on board with it all as it turned out it was probably not a good idea he was not as he had presented himself to be and think about it right I haven't seen this person since he was seven years old and uh yeah, it was a disaster, but I mean, we managed to work through it. But 
Yeah, she's amazing. Her birthday today. She hates birthdays. She grew up poor and her mother abandoned her and her brother. So that was a lot of messing around that I, I would totally, there's enough space there. I would refix that when my hands are all in good shape, but there you go. So there's some little, I would probably, these look so pretty and I have a ton of these crystals. And I have some of those little rondel crystal rhinestone things. I would maybe add some all over, but that's more sparkles. Maybe I should leave it well enough for the long. So there's one. Okay, so we didn't need those after all. Oh, and look, you have a pair of earrings to match. Ta-da! Let's, let's do this right. Like I do anything right. So there. So yeah, I was surprised that she was on board with that whole situation. And really, I mean, she could have easily said to me, you know, I know you want to help. But you don't know this person, maybe you should, you know, we should step back kind of thing. Nope, she was like, okay, what do we, what do you need from me? I'll do it. Let's, let's take care of this. So yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> I always say I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Like, how did I get so lucky? Now those are kind of not the same. I mean, actually, that might match. And then I think we need a dark one. And I think I have a dark one in here. Ooh, I do. Look at that. <laughs> Psych. We don't even have to adjust these either. Okay, let's see if we can get these on here as well. And those might go on as well. So... See if I can just squish that down so it stays in place. It's um I might have to do something like this. Twist the wire a bit, sorry. I'm just there, that worked. Oh look at that. That's amazing. coming off yeah, it is I have to squeeze that a little better oh came right off I think because the memory wire moves it's a little difficult but look at that. that is pretty better let me see what I can do for this That did it. Okay, and then we'll put the next one on. Bottom. This one, sh oh, famous last words. This one should be easy. So we, um, I went off keto last night so we could have a nice meal together for her birthday. We could have, in Nova Scotia, we haven't, um, the restaurants are open with like distancing so every other table is available but um, there's only certain places we feel comfortable going there's like a family restaurant Swiss chalet that's we know all the servers and whatever I think it these are the ones Oh no, you know what, these must be the uh, BB Craft ones. I was going to say they're really soft, but this feels more like BB Craft. I, where's my round nose here? Okay, 
Let's see if I can close that. Okay, I need the other hand that hurts. So that one's open a bit just like the other one. So let me see if there's a way to squeeze it closed without breaking the beads. There, that should do it. I like this one, so I've managed to line it up so that the ends actually somewhat meet. There. That's beautiful. So there's the pattern. So, so this is what happened. I saw this pattern on Pinterest. So it had three rounds and then these different colors and the dark blues. And these are silver and that's like a, a brownish cherry color. But I had these lovely, and these are all turquoise. I had these lovely turquoise beads and I wanted to see if I could, which one would look best. And then once I put all three on, I was like, oh, I don't want to take them off. So I just added them all and they look awesome. So this is that one. And then we have these. And you know what? I have some green pearls in here. Look at that. So we could put a green pearl. And then, ooh, look at this one. And a white would go with that. There goes my earrings. <laughs> These are so pretty. I should save those for that one. I'm just looking for the next one. There's a set of earrings like that. <laughs> like, ooh, look what I found. <laughs> it's, like, it's yours, Emma. Did you not know that was there? Okay, I have no clue what I have. <laughs> it's all organized. But, oh my gosh, it's a mess. Let's put this one on. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the garage sale and I apologize. Um, I thought I'd be more organized with my issues with my hand. Like during this rehab period that I'd have lots of time to do stuff. Um, I was not expecting to feel kind of like annoyed and I don't know, not, not depressed, but just like lonely and crappy feeling. So I've been doing things that make me happy, like this stuff. <laughs> so the other stuff is like homework. But I'll tell you what, uh, I definitely have to do it and I will work on it this week because somebody asked me about it and I did a quick picture for them and I realized... I don't have to go to any big photographic organization thing. Just take the pictures and load it on to Facebook and see what happens. I'm sure you guys would be happy to see this stuff. So this kind of doesn't match. But who cares? We can always fix it later. This one is open, so that's easy enough. Let's see if I can get this. This memory wire is like so hard to... So there, actually that's not too bad. I mean, the color kind of matches. It's white and brown and green. So there's that one. 
And the final one, it's very rustic looking. I don't, that's way too sparkly for that. So let's, let's actually make a good one. Not that these aren't good, but let's make a head pin. Um, let's see. So let's put one of these if I have a turquoise crystal no you know what I think I'm just gonna repeat this with these colors so let's grab one of those big guys I actually have a heart too so I could do a heart one for one side do the heart and I love these melons this is the first time I ever saw melons and I got these like 10 years ago on eBay and since then, I've been buying melon beads like crazy off of uh, different sites, like the Czech glass ones. Just in love with them. Okay, so let me these guys here. Hopefully, I can get them open. I had to open them with my teeth yesterday. <laughs> not good. Uh, not a good idea. I don't recommend it. See, this one's hard to open. I use my chin to hold it. These are old honey jars that a neighbor gave us a whole set of honey. Okay, so let's. I wonder if I put some. Um, spacers like an antique ooh I found one some that I got from these are beautiful Let's see here let's see if that'll work on that and what should I do for the heart I wonder if we did no, I don't think that's going to look good on the heart. Just wondering if we did that. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to grab a this straight a one as I can find. I'm going to open this up um, because I keep going off camera and that's the key to staying in focus is not to be too so that looks lovely oh yeah okay so let's do it this way. You know what? I think I'm going to do, oops, put that back on. Do two brown, one red, two brown. Oh, I don't know. That looks kind of funny. Too much. So I think it's going to be. basically the same as the other design. That's better. This, I don't know if this is like that soft. It keeps moving. Okay, let's see if we can do this. It's strange using the different, <laughs> the left hand for this stuff. Okay, Put that, press it over, that I can do. Okay, that one down, grab this one. Let's 
and push that over. Yeah, this um, these are really soft. I'm barely doing anything to it. Oh, this is going to be the hard part. I forgot about this end. I should... Now I guess I can. Like I could probably loop it on now, but it might be difficult for me to do. So let me see if there's a way to do this with one hand. Yeah, see how soft these are. Okay, almost too soft, like they the wire inside the beads are kind of getting all wonky. And just get it a little bit more over. <laughs> Those look nice. I wish this part was straighter. Yeah, that's a little better. I mean, it's all scuffed up. Sorry. Let me get my clippers. I couldn't see it, and I'm thinking, oh gosh, I'm going to cut the wrong piece. <laughs> Let's see if we can tuck that little guy in. Let's do it this way. Where is it? Right there where my nail is. There's not enough to hang on to for me to use my finger. <laughs> See, this is my problem. I start to do stuff like this. I'm like, oh, I got this. And then clearly I can't do it. And I, I've been doing that, driving my wife nuts with, like, helping trying to do the dishes and stuff. Oh, my gosh. This is pretty. That's really nice. That just is awesome. So uh, these are going to be on sale at the garage sale. I don't know, maybe I'm guessing like $10 or something. I've had these beads forever and actually, <laughs> so this is probably why I'm having issues with the garage sale stuff. <laughs> I go to put it in a bin to sell it and I'm like, ooh, maybe I could make this with it. <laughs> There's my problem. And you know what? This, I don't know. This doesn't work long enough. I don't know if that's going to... I may have to take that off. My it's so tight there. Yeah, I think I need to break this one. I'm going to do something you should never do. <laughs> oh, that's not working the way I want it to. 
you know what, just to see if I can pull that up. Look at that. <laughs> Emma! I'm going to take a th another one off because I really need the space. Of course this one doesn't, now it's stuck. Oh, you got to be kidding me. See if I can get this on there. Um, are you sure you guys want to buy this at the garage sale? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. It looks like a lantern. I may be keeping this one. I'm so bad. Yes, I'm going to sell it. No, I want to keep it. Okay, we need the heart. So, that one looks, actually, this one looks really straight. I'll just clip this end off. And we'll do the same for the heart. We'll do a brown head. Here's this nice big one here. Perfect. This one I think I'm not going to do the wrap just because I clipped it and I, there wasn't much left on the other one. Let's see what we got here. This one's harder. Maybe we'll just wrap it once. This. Let me make a smaller loop. Now, I, I remember doing this and somebody said that's not how you're supposed to do it, like holding it on the, the looper, but I find two things happen when I do it this way, is it keeps the shape of the loop in the place, like in the orientation that I want it, and it doesn't scuff up the sides. So I think on some level you got to do what works for you, right? There. And that needs to be tucked in a little. Let's see if I can tuck that in. I have too many tools here. There, that's, that's 
feel scratchy and let's pop this guy on with the hand that works. So I've been uploading, so I had a bunch of videos that were already done from before and I decided to release them but I also um, want to let you know I am reading your comments and I will respond to them. I just figured out how to use my audio so I don't have to type with my finger because it's really hard to type with my even if I'm typing with one finger on the left hand holding the heavy tablet is really hard that doesn't work either so maybe can it work all the way here there so there's that one looks amazing So yeah, they crossed over quite a bit on these ones. Because it would be nice if they were kind of closer together, these dangles. But oh my gosh, this, yeah, this is beautiful. This turned out really nice. So that's these guys. So let's go ahead and make one. Because there's a few things that I did differently because of my hands. Let's put those aside. Get rid of that stuff. I'm just going to move these because I think I might use those. Not sure yet. What I do want to use are these lovely rondelles that I got from Peggy from By the Beads. And then I have these guys that I think they're little shell dangles oh they are really pretty um, I got these at um, the wholesale jewelry supply company for like pennies I think you know something like this was 60 cents or 40 cents and there's 12 pieces oh it was probably even cheaper and they do have sales a lot on their, their kind of brassy, antique -y looking stuff. And they also have um, silver. Like I got, I should show you, I got the silver ones of these too. But I want to keep this rustic. So there's the, these are gold plated actually. I don't know if I have silver one of these. So, so yeah. Actually, I think this is probably going to be enough. And I might attach them throughout. I could, because they have the the jump rings, I could put them on after, but that's hard on my hand. So, so let's take a look at what we're going to mix these with. I do have these seed beads. These are, oh, I love these. Opaque matte turquoise. I think there's a white one in there. <laughs> I don't know if they really match with those. This is my wife. She's on the phone. She's she is such um she was a supervisor, like a, a big boss. And uh, so she's always used to using speakerphone. So she uses speakerphone when we're at home. <laughs> like you know you can have a private conversation, right? <laughs> But it's just like she doesn't like putting the phone to her ear, I guess. Okay, so let me see. Got those and those. I don't know that these are going to match, actually. It might be for another. But that definitely goes together. Okay. It's about time I use these. Just trying to think of a design. I wonder if I did a mix. 
yeah, let's do a mix and no design. So. I love these reds. I don't know what it is about it. Look at how delicious that looks. You know what? I should probably mix them all in. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I think we're going to open another one of these and maybe every 10 or 20, we're going to put one on. I think that's how we're going to do it. So I think we need the next, the other one because we are going to do a... These are, I'm really surprised, like, I have the gold ones, the gold ones are really thin, but actually they look pretty good. Some of the stuff, like the gold plated and silver plated, super thin because it's expensive, but I find these ones nice sides. Oh, these are going to be amazing. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. So, let's grab this guy. Find the end here. Okay, there's the end. So let's count this as one, two, three, four. Let's do five. So there's the, um, it was, um, um, tarnished. But you know what? For our purpose, it doesn't really matter. I may not use the whole thing. We'll see as we go. Now, I wanted to show you. This is what I was doing now. This is probably not the right tool for memory wire because memory wire is tempered steel. But um, I bought this uh, three millimeter looper and I find the loops are too big for stuff. So I, I realized in looking that I need a thicker gauge wire and then it looks right and it closes it properly. So just if you're thinking of getting the bigger loops. So I think what I'll do, so this is what I came up with last night because I was having a hard time. I'm trying to find the end here. Okay, so let's put that in like you would a regular head pin. Like that okay so you can do it that way and turn it on the inside or you can once it's in turn it the other way get it to it's hard you got to hang on to it and then squeeze and there look ta-da let's pull this guy out so that came in handy and now we can start loading it up I guess I could turn it a bit more to so that it's not gonna slide off the beads Bad. I'll leave it because if we want to put a dangle on there, I don't want to. Just pull this. So I am by no means an expert at this, and I am totally new. This is my. Oh, maybe my. I'm not even at 10 bracelets of making wire, memory wire, so. Definitely take a look at some of the really awesome YouTubers out there that have these. Now I'm just going to start loading.
There's 10. I think we should go to 20 before adding a, a shell. Okay, so that's the issue I have with my one hand. So I'm kind of holding it with this side and then using this one to jab them. But when you go to release it, you lose beads. So if you're doing a pattern, be careful. Okay, now I don't know if there's a way for these to be the correct orientation. And I'm gonna go left to right. <laughs> put it. I don't. I guess what I need to do is make sure I keep it the same way each time. So that to me looks backwards. So if I do, okay. So I did it backwards again. So let's go upside down. As our orientation, there we go. Okay, and you can always put those through. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's twenty. I'm gonna. See what I'm doing. So yeah, we had a, a nice night last night, but I couldn't sleep. I'm just bored. Oh, we went for a swim. It wasn't a leisurely swim. It was an actual workout. And uh, I haven't forgotten how to swim, so that's awesome. I, uh, Jen put a Ziploc bag on my hand and taped it with uh, packing tape. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to use the arm and just not use the hand. But her recommendation was no, not a good idea. So I uh, took her advice. And I'm surprised that even without using that arm, like I just let it hang behind me. And uh, my shoulder is sore this morning. But part of it is you use your whole body in swimming. And if you're swimming correctly, every stroke has that aspect of it. So you use every part of your body, you know, you tense your core, you pull hard with your shoulders and arms, you kick. My kick is really strong, so. Four, six, eight. And seven more. And it probably doesn't matter how, as long as they're somewhat accurate on there. Spacing here. So I I tried to like scoop like you do with seed beads and you get like a whole bunch when you do, but this keeps poking into the mat and flinging the beads everywhere. So that's why I'm not. Doing. 
I tried twice. You saw what happened. Even yeah, I have to do it this way. So yeah, it was nice. So I actually managed to get twelve hundred meters in, which is pretty awesome. My usual practice is about well, at the end there before the surgery I was getting in um sorry counting again I was getting in 3,000 meters a practice in an hour but an average is about two meters to uh, 2,000 meters my wife laughs at me because I say things like two meters two meters is not a lot <laughs> like you haven't stroke done a stroke yet <laughs> But I'll interchange the thousand with ten thousand, and oh, I'm an artist. What do you want? There we go. Another twenty, I think. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. It doesn't look like much yet, but there's two, five, oh, six, seven. Get rid of these ones. It's actually easier when they're by themselves. I have more of those little. Oh, this is going to look amazing. Of these guys here. But, you know, I don't think, I think they're probably good. <laughs> Still on the phone. Now I guess people calling her to wish her happy birthday. So my birthday comes up in uh, May, and my wife's already asking me what I want. Can you guess what I said? Uh, it's probably the same thing you would ask for. Beads! So, <laughs> didn't didn't go over well. Actually, I didn't say anything because <laughs> um, she'd be like, don't you have enough beads? So I did mention I my um wedding ring this was a men's band and um we picked it so that they would match and I wanted the diamonds in it and uh I don't know if I told you this but she um I know I told you that she declined my proposal, my first one, and uh, after I wiped the tears, I was like, well, just so you know, uh, I'm not going anywhere, so when you decide you're ready to get married again, 
she was um, still, she's one of these people that she's super nice, but if you mess with her one too many times, <laughs> um, she'll say, say things like, you better not step foot on my doorstep. You better not knock at my door, that kind of thing, right? So I guess she was uh, quite, um, I didn't realize how hurt she was by the, from being married before. But anyway, we got through that. And uh, so, but we still weren't married. We had bought a house together. And uh, same-sex marriage became legal in Nova Scotia. She was actually a board member for the community um, group that brought the same-sex marriage to the Supreme Court of Canada. And um, won. So, so it was kind of funny that here she brought this case forward with some lawyers and I think they had two couples that were fighting it and um, she wasn't married and had no intention on getting married but anyway so we had a house together and her boys were in university and were living with us and I mean, we were essentially living as a married couple and family, but um, so it was no big deal. But there was always this, for me anyway, there was always this issue in the back of my mind that if something happened to her, um, that potentially her ex, on behalf of her adult sons, could get a lawyer and fight me for ownership of our house and she kept saying oh you know that would never happen and there was no way even if it did it would that any court would do it but there's a lot of history of queer couples creating a home and losing it when somebody dies to family who you know, abandon them and swoop in and take everything. So, anyway, um, so we were talking about getting married and uh, she had a really, she's had, I think, three car accidents where she was hit. And um, so every... Once in a while, she would have an out, like a, an episode of where she couldn't walk, and she was just weighing off having surgery, and uh, it was getting pretty bad. So she was laid up, and I decided to do phase two of our renovations in the house, and most of it was like prepping the walls and painting. Four more here so um oh I was tired I was almost done and I said you know what let's just go for a drive I still had paint in my hair and on my hands so let's go for a drive to the mall and go for a walk in the mall kind of thing so we go in the mall and oh so we had been discussing getting married and uh she's <laughs> this is what she said so she knows I'm a sparkly girl and she is very traditional and, you know, wanted wedding, wedding bands. So she said, if we can find a ring, and we were looking online, if we can find a ring that we can both agree on, we'll get married. So I was like, oh, challenge. I'm so there. <laughs> so we were looking and looking. I'd come up with all these sparkly diamond rings and stuff. And then she would come up with like, 
like a $20 ring. So I said to her, Jen, if it's under a hundred dollars, it's not a wedding ring. That's just my thing. Like it has to be worth some money for me to put any, and I know that's not the right way to think of things, but that's how I am. It's like, you know, otherwise we could have just got like a something, you know, plain $20 ring and just whatever. So we couldn't agree on the rings. I was shocked. And it's, it's so funny because you have all these big issues that you make decisions on and, you know, you come together and you're doing really good and everybody has a say and, and then it's like something like that. I'm like, I'm shocked that we can't agree on this. So, um, so we're in the mall. And we always bought each other jewelry. Like, usually, I like rings, so, you know, she would, I would pick out a ring and she would buy it for me for special occasions. So I have a bunch of really beautiful rings. But, um, n necklaces and stuff I would buy for her. So we always went to the same jewelry store. The ladies knew us. They thought we were hilarious because we were always joking about being a gay couple and stuff like that so anyway um I said to her let's go into the jewelry store and take a look at the wedding bands and see if we can find something and we found these so this was I don't know why they didn't have a women's one of this or the woman woman's equivalent to this one was um so different and kind of frilly and I agreed with her on that one that it needed to be um, a wedding band and not like a, a diamond kind of engagement ring thing so um, so we got two of the men's and um, just had them size mine now they had issues with mine because they sized it so many times and every time they sized it, they didn't reset the, the diamonds and the diamonds would fall out. But we got like an insurance with it. It was only like, I think you pay like $20 more to get the insurance. And um, I think, let me see how many I have. There's, I think I have enough. So, um, so yeah, we didn't pay for the, like we, we paid for the, insurance and that covered so I've I've had mine resized so many times so the story is right now like right now my hands a bit swollen but you can see how loose it is since I lost the weight and last night I got in the pool and forgot to take it off and it almost came off so we've been talking about probably not a good idea to get it sized again let's just see what we got Oh my god, this is really coming out nice. Look at that. So yeah, I think I'm going to do the full. But you can see how tiny this is for my wrist. So I, when she asked me about my birthday, I said, you know, I have an idea and I saw it. <laughs> of course, it was an ad on YouTube for a ring. It was pre-owned rings. And it's interesting. So there's companies out there that... I mean, we used to call that a pawn shop. <laughs> pre-owned rings. But I thought, oh, it's a kind of a good idea. So they kind of market it and clean them and adjust the settings to make sure everything's good. And So that kind of gave me the idea that maybe we need to go... And what I said was if we get this ring, get it slightly smaller and I can get it like frilly like I like, put it in front of my wedding band and that way it'll hold my wedding band in place. And that way we don't have to get it sized again. So, because she was worried. 
She's like, you, you're going to have to get it sized. Let's see. Trees. Yeah, that's coming along quick. We could use it the other way here. I think I had it right the first time. Okay, and some more colored ones. So there's that. The other thing that occurred to me is I need a new printer. So I need a new, we have a laser printer and this one that we got is just garbage. It's never worked right. And I use it a lot for my art. So I will um, do an image, like grab an image online and then um, alter the image so that I could do a tracing of the outline and uh, and then I print it off and I use it for my just my general tracing f for my paintings and I just started a painting um, workshop free one on YouTube and uh, went to print oh. this is the one printing so this is Queen Elizabeth and this is really cool so there's that one and, and I'll talk about that in another video but then this is this is what it did look at so this is my friend Maria from Spain and she sent me a picture of a bracelet of her that oh earrings that she made with beads I sent her and this is how it printed it off. I'm like, oh, because I was going to do a painting. Like, so I said to her, um, I think I need a new printer for my birthday. She's like, oh, that's a great idea. She's like, she's all about, um, like she'll, she'll buy me whatever I want, but she definitely likes it better when it's a, ut uh, utilitarian object so okay it gets a little harder at the end just because I don't have much more wire to pull out Almost done. So I have to do some research on printers. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the ring. <laughs> oh, somebody just swore. Oh, and I don't have my thing on the door to show that I'm doing a video. My, I have a bracelet, a stretch bracelet that I put on the door handle and it's so funny, the cat plays with it. So I think it's her at the door saying, you know, can you pause it so I can talk to you. <laughs> but she, I told her I was doing a video. So we're almost done. Three, four. Let's 
sure that's all the way down there. Oh man, this looks amazing. Look at this. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, so one more. what I was worried about. I could tell her that I want a chihuahua. <laughs> uh, my poor kitties would flip right out. There's no way we could ever... They barely get along with each other now. Okay, I'm going to add... I'm just going to go right to... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should see where the other side is. Remember how the other one, the dangle, didn't match up? Okay, so there it is. So actually, they will match up. So this is uh, the first time I've ever done a something like this where I've done a mix and I know that Brittany from Turquoise Street talked about doing some bead mixes and uh, I think part of my problem is I'm so OCD about sorting okay that's too much that I would be worried it. Um, so in um, last night when I was doing these I actually did the ends with the looper tool too so I left quite a bit and then I looped it and just but I think for this one we will see if we can do it this way really hard to do with this there Just quit messing with me <laughs> I'll quit that side off so let's go ahead and put and open that up so that I can Add a and take that bead off. I'm gonna take both off. There. Okay, so let's do now what are we gonna put on there? I have some antique charms and balls and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Those are all jumping. Ooh, I found something I like. tray of buttons but I also have these guys oh and you know what I do have so we'll use actually that matches better um I have I don't know 
This is what I was thinking. The you can either do one of these Buddhas. This is what I was thinking, but I actually have a brass one somewhere. And kind of a gold dot. That's it. That's what I want on there. Perfect. It might be a little heavy because it's kind of big. But I think... We might just attach it with a chop ring. So yeah, I think we'll do this and this. So I have these, so I think I might, there's my clippers, I don't know if that'll, uh, oh yeah, that's pretty soft. I'm thinking for this one here. So maybe just, um, let's do, One of these with these. And one of these. Yeah. Like that. Oh, she burps. <laughs> why? Why? You're, when you don't use that hand all the time for stuff, that's what happens. It's not used to you have to consciously think certain stuff. Okay. So it's me. Do this. Well, these are harder, but they're still kind of nice. Poor. Like they're still bendy, even though they're hard. Okay, let's see if we can. I know I keep saying I'm just going to do a loop, but it's so much nicer when you do the wrap. My lighting is really sucked here. Let's add a bit of light here. It all bent. There. 
Let's get out of here. So yeah, the swim was awesome. My hand is weird. It um, gets all, uh, you know when you've been in the water too long, your skin gets all shriveled up and gray looking? Mine does that within like a couple of minutes. I think it's just the lack of tissue perfusion. All right. So now we have to open this up to put our little ohm symbol. And you know, it's funny, like I had had these for 10 years. So I bought these from a store in Vancouver, BC. And, um, you know, I had to pay shipping and everything. I was like, they ended up being, I think, a dollar each after this. And then maybe $5 shipping. So I ordered a bunch of them. And I used them for... Um, When I did my workshops in the yoga studios, everybody wanted them. They're so beautiful, right? And uh, I didn't, I knew they were Tierra Cast, but I didn't know what Tierra Cast was. So it was really interesting to, um, this one needs a jump ring. So now that I know what Tierra Cast is, I was like, ugh. And, you know, um, Art Beats has had sales on tier cast stuff. So the, the time they had it, I have a ton of just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I love tier cast stuff. Yeah, so I like them the ohm symbols too because they're kind of tiny. They look it's understated kind of thing. And I apologize. This is like really hard to do with my funky hand, and I totally wrecked this jump ring. These are BB Craft jump rings. So just to let you know, they're garbage. But I don't have any ones that are the right color. I want to orient this the so that it's on the outside. I keep wanting to just grab it with the other hand. Oh, okay, let me see what I can do here. No, not even close. twisted I um, ordered the helper tool to hold things and it's coming in two days yay
should be able to there. That's not it, but I'll have to maybe get my wife to do it for me. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look amazing. Where's the other one? It's right here. This one on. Gosh, this one's closed nicely. <laughs> See if I could kind of poke it in there. Oh, look at that. I did. Oh, oh and this went all the way on the. There. So, there. Let's move this aside. And. See if we can get those to dangle correctly. Ta-da! So there is a lovely kind of meditation yoga turquoisey stretch bracelet. Super, super easy and fun and nice to pass the time. So these are these lovely. Move this stuff so it doesn't sit my door. And you can see them all. And that one. And so, can you see a theme of a <laughs> kind of a rustic look to these? There we go. Let's see. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this. It was different, just kind of fooling around, messing around, playing with beads. <laughs> hope you guys had a nice Easter. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.